first impressions of the uh, Udasalt 3.10 by the Dunkus. Um, this is a very standard stock edition of it. I haven't added a whole lot. Uh, I reinforced the Y clips here with a uh, green rod right here in the second and fourth layer. Um, I know he'll know what I'm talking about. Banded the tan clip in because it was popping out on me. A little annoying. Uh, changed the clips a little bit. Instead of using a white rod here, I used a yellow rod. Um, just helps with stability, I think. And then I added a sight picture. Because originally there was none. Now, granted, sights aren't really all that effective on a Kinex gun because they're not that accurate. Um, but yeah. So I'll uh, load this thing up and uh, we'll fire it. Shoots really well for me so far. Um, yeah. So I load this a little bit differently than I think he does. Um, honestly, not gonna lie, I didn't watch the video that he posted, but I just slide this on like this and then pull this out and then the yellow rods fall out. It's a lot easier and a lot more effective when you're using two hands, but I'm using one hand for this video because I'm using the other hand to video. Oh crap. Okay. And unexpected things like that will happen because I'm shooting with one hand. So pull the striker back and then engage the magazine. Okay. Shoots nicely. Um, really, I don't know how many times I'm going to shoot this. Might as well shoot the whole mag, right? But yeah, this thing shoots nicely. Uh, what's kind of weird about this gun as opposed to other guns um, is that the first few rounds uh, shoot better in this gun than the last couple. Sometimes the last couple will fire double or fire in a really weird direction like they'll kind of like spiral upwards, tumble upwards. Um, which is really weird because normally the first few shots in a Kinex gun have the most friction on them because the rubber bands pulled back farther than when it's all the way up and you're on the last one. So normally the first few shots are uh, a little bit weaker than the last couple shots, but for whatever reason, I've noticed that in this gun, it is the exact opposite. The first few shots are more powerful than any of the other shots. Now, I have no idea why that is. Um, I have a couple thoughts, but really I have no idea. So, we will continue firing this. Has a magazine capacity of 11 rounds and uh, uses clips that hold exactly that many so and it's a really cool clip invention system I actually really enjoyed looking at it because honestly I hadn't thought of anything like it but yeah got five more rounds certainly a war ready gun I think um, I haven't built Many. See, that was a really weak shot for whatever reason, but um, I have built many uh, war-ready guns in the past just because I have them. See, and then that shot off to the left with a little less power. But Yeah, anyways, we're on the last two rounds now. Uh, we'll see if it double, double fires. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, yeah. Okay, see, that was really weird. It only did shoot one like normal, but it only shot like three feet. Whereas the rest of the magazine probably would have shot 20 feet if I wasn't shooting in a wall. Again, I have no idea why this is, nor do I really have an idea, but that's what happens. So, last shot, we'll see if it does anything weird. Yeah, it kind of arced up there, but still, not terrible. Um, this is one of the funnest guns I've built in a while, so thank you, Zedunkus. Um, yeah. Really cool gun. I like it. I uh, might try to build a rifle version of this so that it has a pin guide so maybe I could load it up with a few more rubber bands. Currently I'm only shooting with one rubber band on. I'm sure it can handle multiple, but yeah. And then on the rifle version I might try to include uh, the clip system that he made as well. So yeah, really cool gun. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing I forgot to mention. Sometimes on the last shot of the magazine part of the mag pusher will pop off actually I found it it's right here but um, it's kind of annoying when this pops off because you have to find it um, and really I probably only have 10 of these all together just because hinges are pretty rare 
even though I have a ton of connects. I don't have many hinges, so it'd be nice to retain this piece better. Um, anyways, that's all I really have for this. Um, really cool gun. Really enjoy it. So, yep.